Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on guys? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. So we're going to look today at a drill that the Astros, I've seen the Astros doing this, um, working on double play feeds from both the shortstop position and the second base position. What they do is they line up four bags here. And the first bag, you're going to be the second baseman. Then you're going to be the shortstop. Then you're going to be the second baseman. Then you're going to be the shortstop. So I'll play it here real quick. So there's second base. Here's shortstop. Here's second base. Here's shortstop. So what they do is they have, they just have a coach on this side, a coach on this side, or a player feeding. And they just run their players through this. So this can work on a couple of different things. One, um, it creates some flexibility for the player, right? So they're able to learn both second base and shortstop. We always tell our players, you know, if you can play shortstop, you've got to know how to play second base. If you can play second base, you should be able to learn how to play shortstop, you know, in a pinch. Coach can put you in there, or manager, if you're playing at a high level. Um, so that's the that's the first thing. The second thing is this is you know for for major league teams this is good for you know playing the shift. That, with more shift play um, in the major leagues, you've got to be able to basically be positionless. So you've got to be able to move around and play. You know you might be on um, the shortstop side of the bag one one hitter, and then you're on the second base uh, side of the bag the next hitter. And so you know double plays can get a little bit tricky when you're shifting a lot so you've got to be able to turn it from both sides so let's talk about um the footwork and stuff we've talked about this in the past but just a couple of key things if you're going to do this drill a couple things to keep in mind all right first thing as a second baseman you're always going to keep your left foot on the bag you're going to take your right foot to the ball so the ball's out here you take your right foot out there the ball's in here you take your right foot this way right here okay so i'm always taking my right foot to the ball i want my right foot to basically land as i'm catching the ball all right, so here he kind of already cheats. The, his, his foot's already on the ground, and now this ball's thrown right to him, so his foot's already on the ground. He takes this little step here and throws. I usually coach, and one thing I've noticed with this drill is sometimes it looks like they're rushing through it a little bit, maybe too quickly. Now, these are major league players, Jose Altuve, very, very good around the bag. And so, you know, if I was if I was working this drill with a younger player, I would just have them go a little bit slower so they don't feel like they have to rush and they're able to go through their, their their normal footwork that they would do in a game. All right? So, again, right foot to the ball, then it's going to be right, left, throw. Um, catching one hand versus two hands. If the ball is outside the framework of your body, catch with one hand. Okay? If the ball is within the framework of your body, so basically between your shoulders, you're going to go two hands, you're going to deflect it. So here this ball is a little bit high and just outside to his left. He goes one hand. Brings it to the middle, transfers in the chest area. So always want to bring the ball to the middle, transfer in the chest area, short arm action, and throw. Now he goes to shortstop. When you go to shortstop, you're going to go right foot on the bag. So it's just the it's the opposite of second base. So you go right foot on the bag. You're going to take left foot to the ball. All right. And again, the timing I usually try to time up is my left foot's going to hit as I catch the ball. Right. So he's just a little bit early, but. It is pretty close. And then after you catch the ball, you're going to take your right foot to your left, your left to your target. So the, the normal footwork that we always talk about from infield play. And throw. All right, here we go again, second base. Now this one is within the framework of his body, so it's basically right at his chest. You can see his hands are close together. He's going to deflect in the middle of his body right here. Deflect and transfer. And you can see the foot, the timing right here. So this is more of the normal timing. So you go right foot to the ball, trying to time it up so you catch and right foot at the same time. Now your left foot will come down and you'll throw. And now back to shortstop. Now the throw within the framework of his body. He's gonna he's gonna deflect. He's not gonna catch with one hand, taking his left foot to the ball. That time again, left foot hits as he deflects, right to left, left to target, throws, and now he hops. So one other thing. Now, <laughs> he's kind of, um, you know, he's goofing around a little bit here, I guess. But one thing you do want to work on as a middle infielder is you want to work on getting up off of that left foot. So, you know, what I talk about is after you throw, you want to just hop from your left foot to your right foot. So he jumps way up in the air here. But you do want to work on this because you don't, what, what happens with some players is they throw and they stay planted. And if somebody slid in and hit your knee, 
or your leg with your foot completely planted, you could really hurt your knee. Um, and so we work on getting from right, and again, it doesn't have to be this drastic, but it's just get up in the air and go from right, or excuse me, go from left foot to right foot. And that's all you need. Okay, let's run through it again one more time here. See, and sometimes if you're rushing through quick, the player doesn't feel like he has enough time to kind of get up off his feet, but he does do it there on the last one. But just notice how quick how quick he is. And that could be one thing also they're working on, right? They go a little bit faster, just working on quickness, you know, deflecting the ball, getting rid of it quick, setting up the body and the feet quick to throw. They actually say something here at the end. Let me see if I can hear what they say. Not sure what they said. Something up, get them down, or something like that. But again, just a really cool drill to just, you know, again, working on creating some versatility and flexibility with the infielders, being able to feel comfortable going from second to short on the double play feeds, um, getting in a lot of reps. You know, again, you can have coaches over here. You might want to just have players, have players there and have them going through like their, you know, how they would feed the ball. You know, the second baseman over here, have him maybe underhand one, maybe pivot and throw one. Same with the shortstops. You're getting basically three guys all working at the same time, and then you can just rotate through. I think it's a good way to get a lot of reps. So um, hopefully that helps you guys out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up. I already said that, I think. Thanks to our patrons on Patreon for supporting the channel, and we will talk to you later.